Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have an amazing keto recipe for y'all. It's gonna be so delicious, an awesome Mexican dish. Today, we are going to be making this keto pork chili verde. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be an awesome Mexican dish. We're gonna make it keto style, so let's get straight to it. I can never pronounce it at all. <laughs> All right, y'all, first thing we're gonna get started on, we gotta go ahead, I went ahead and washed my peppers that we're gonna be using for the salsa. I got six tapatillos right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the stem. And you want like a baking sheet off to the side over here. We're gonna go ahead and place these on here because we're gonna put them in the oven to broil. Go ahead and chop this off. All right, got my six tapatillos. The next pepper we're gonna use, you're gonna want three jalapenos. We got our jalapenos right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the stem as well. Put it right next to my tapatillos. Another pepper we're gonna go ahead and go in with, we are going in with two poblano peppers. You can go ahead and take out the seeds right now if you'd like, just so it's easier. Place those on my wire rack or you could just broil these straight over the fire guys it all just depends on you but I like to put it in a rack in the oven when it's a lot of peppers then we're gonna go ahead and go in with one serrano pepper cut off the stem and these are all our peppers that we're going to be using let's go ahead and move on to the oven Okay, we have our oven broiled on high. We're gonna broil these for 10 minutes, but we're gonna flip them halfway through. So I'm gonna put a timer, 10 minutes, and you just want the skin nice and crispy, and we're gonna go ahead and add it to a blender when we're done. All right, guys, halfway through, we're gonna go ahead and flip them. You're gonna see the skin getting nice and broiled. That's exactly what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them over. This is gonna cut the bitterness from the peppers when we cook them. And it's gonna give them that nice roasty flavor. They may look burned, but this is exactly what you want. Go ahead and flip these poblano peppers and it's gonna smell amazing in your house. All right, we're gonna put them back in until they're nice and broiled. All right guys, the peppers are nice and roasted. They should look something like this. Now what we need to do is like let them sweat. So this is gonna make them easier to peel the skin off before we blend them. So either you can put them in a plastic bag or you could just simply cover them with a piece of foil like I'm gonna do. And it's gonna keep the heat on it, heat in. You're gonna leave this here for 10 minutes. <laughs> Don't burn yourself like I just did. All right, we let our peppers sit here and sweat some skin and they should look something like this. Now you can go ahead and peel them with your hand. I just go ahead and take a spoon and the skin should like easily come off just like this. You just want to get any of that black skin away because if you do blend it up then you're going to have like pieces of skin in there and you don't want that but the poblano peppers are nice and roasted they smell amazing this is going to be so delicious i cannot wait and you can also take out any seeds if you don't want it too spicy you can go ahead and start deseeding them but you already know i love spicy food so i leave them in Okay, once you have like some of the skin off to each pepper, just like this, a little bit is okay. We're gonna go ahead and add it to our blender. So I got my blender over here. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this to all the peppers and we're gonna blend it up here in a minute. The serrano pepper, I go ahead and kind of leave it like this. A little bit of the skin will come off, but not too much. So I go ahead and add it to my blender. Same goes with the tapatillos. You can go ahead and leave the skin on and add it to your blender. Go ahead and peel a little bit of the skin from the jalapenos because the jalapenos pretty much stay intact. Get a little messy, but trust me, this salsa is going to be so worth it in the end. Got a beautiful roasted jalapeno. It's going to go in the blender. Okay, once you got all your peppers in here, we're going to go ahead and add in one medium onion. And we're gonna add in three cloves of garlic. Go ahead and blend all this up until it's nice and smooth. All 
All right, you're gonna have a nice blended green salsa just like this, and you're gonna go ahead and leave this set to the side, and we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, now we're gonna move on to the pork butt. <laughs> we got ourselves about two to two and a half pounds, depending on how many you wanna make, and you're just gonna go ahead and chop this into bite-sized pieces so we can go ahead and start cooking this up in our green salsa, and I cannot wait. So I go ahead and chop it into bite-sized pieces just like this, toss it to the side to a bow, and then after this, we're gonna go ahead and start searing it over the stove, and it's gonna be so good. All right, I got my pork all nice and chopped up. It is start, it's time to start searing this meat. Okay, you wanna get a good sized pot to go ahead and hold your meat and salsa. We're gonna drop in some olive oil or you can use avocado oil. You wanna get this nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and drop in our pork into our heated oil. We're gonna get a nice sear on this meat. While it's searing, you're gonna to wanna to generously season with some salt and some black pepper. And go ahead and just let your meat sear through. You're gonna start flipping your pork so you can get a nice sear on each side. You're gonna start searing, seeing a sear just like this. So you wanna go ahead and make sure you get it all nice and seared. Pork, got a nice sear on it, it smells amazing. Now we have to add in our green salsa. You guys, I took off the lid from this and it smells so good. I absolutely love it. We're gonna go ahead and add this all in. Look at that, oh yeah. Go ahead and scrape it all out. I ain't wasting no green salsa. Okay, once we got it all in there, you're gonna go ahead and mix it in with your pork. Oh, it smells so good. Get it all nice and covered. Just like that. All right, now we gotta let this cook low and slow. You're gonna go ahead and add a lid. You're gonna lower your heat. And you gotta let this simmer here for about one and a half to two hours to get your pork nice and tender. All right guys, my meat has been simmering. It's getting nice and tender. We're gonna go ahead and add some finishing touches. We're gonna add in some cilantro, a little bit of lime, so we're gonna go ahead and chop that up. All right, we got some cilantro right here. You're just gonna go ahead and chop it up. You can add it in if you like, but I highly recommend to do it. It ups the flavor, it gives it great flavor, so add in some cilantro. Then we just got a lime. We're gonna add in a little bit of lime juice. We're just gonna squeeze it in. All right, to our meat. Oh, it smells so good, guys. It's nice and tender. We're gonna add in a little bit of water just to loosen up that green salsa a little bit. If you like it nice and thick, you could totally leave it. Add in a little bit more if you do want it a little bit more runnier. I'm gonna leave it just like this. That's a good consistency for me. Look at this. Nice and tender and it smells so good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in that chopped cilantro. Add in our chopped cilantro. Then depending on how much lime juice you like, you can add in a little bit more, taste it. I'm gonna go ahead and add in half of the lime. Squeeze that in there. And then you're gonna need a little bit more salt. So just add a little bit more salt to taste. Um, add it to your liking. We're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix. And it is ready. We're gonna go ahead and serve this up and give it a taste try because I have been waiting all day for this. All right, guys, I am so ready to serve this up. I have been waiting for this. I am about to dig in. So this is just a little um, side that you can serve with this. I have some cauliflower rice right here. If y'all have any other ideas, comment down below so we can pair this with an awesome side, but I think it'll go great with some cauliflower rice. So we got it right here. Look at this. We got all that salsa. Go ahead and pour this over right next to our cauliflower rice. Mmm, this looks so good. All right, and then of course, we gotta have tortillas with this. I gotta have some tortillas. So, these are the tortillas that I am using today. These are by HEB. They're their Pro Keto Tortillas. They're four net carbs each, and you can get them where they make all the fresh tortillas at. This is where they usually have them, and they are awesome. They're really, really good. Even my husband likes them. Okay, I got a little bit of lime right here if you wanna add some extra lime, and I warmed up my tortilla. 
And this is the finished product of our keto pork chili vedre. Because I can never pronounce it. That's what you're going to get. <laughs> but give this recipe a try, guys. It looks so delicious. We're going to go ahead and serve it up with our tortilla. I'm going to grab a little bit, little bit. Let's go ahead and give it a taste try. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. Got our salsa. Got our pork. Get a little bit of cauliflower rice. It has a lime. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like home. It's so good. So good. It's nice and tender. Full of flavor. It has a little spiciness. It has a lime to it. Hands down. Delicious. So good. All right, guys, but that was today's recipe video. I really hope y'all give this one a try. And if y'all happen to make it, head on over to my Facebook page, post some pictures there. I would love to see you and your family enjoy this. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you on the next one. Mmm, so good. <laughs>